everyone, welcome to World of English. And then today I'm going to introduce how to use World of English interactive student book on the, you know, whiteboard. So this is the book if you just to, you know, download the app and then if you just learn the app and you can see this is the first page. So there are four books all here. Then let me touch level one. Then if you see, just so you can see, term one, two, three, four, all the units you can teach it for your students. And then let me touch our classroom term one first. And then you can see the page, then different durations for your classroom. And then you can see select your duration for your students. So that's 30 minutes, but you can see five classes a week and for two weeks, then one and a half, and two and a half too. So it depends on for your situation, you can consider your students learning, you know, style. If your students are quick learners, even though you teach every day 30 minutes, but there are a lot of reviews for the students, they are quick learners, maybe you can choose one and a half hour, then you can cut the lessons and you can follow it. Or two and a half hour, there are five dots, you can see it, then you can use one dot for each day. So today, let me choose one and a half hour class. And then I will just go through the whole part. And then I will show you how to use these lessons for you. If I touch lesson one, as you see, there is prepare and teach button. If you touch prepare, then this is the page songs. for teachers. You can read kind of TG parts, what you have to do and how many minutes, how long you have to spend your time for this page too. And just you can sing a song. If you go to the next page, you see the explanation Let's too. remember sentences. So let me go to the first Let's page. Even though songs. after reading TG part, if you touch this button for teach, then it goes directly to the page for teaching. Remember songs. Alphabet song. This is for review. So let's remember songs. This is for remember the you know formal lesson students studied before. So for alphabet song, the normal alphabet song you can sing with your students, and then you can sing with you sing, and then you can go to the next page. Let's remember. Remember sentences, sentences they studied before. Then you don't have to prepare your review lessons, and then it shows it. Just you can follow it. And then you can touch him. Hello. With one finger. Hello. Hello, hello. And then we can go Let's to the next page. Let's learn about our classroom. Let's learn about our classroom. Then just we can see it. We can, they can learn about the new things here. And the new things, this page, whenever you see Let's Learn About, there isn't any sound and you don't have to touch anything. There isn't any MP3 or any sounds. Just you can talk about these pages with your students and then they can talk about what they know already, colors, things, or people, or everything they can see, they can talk about it. But you don't have to decide, the, you know, just answer. That's right, that's wrong. Just whenever they think and feel, they can talk freely. That's really important for learning English, right? So maybe cupboard, table, yellow table, whatever you can discuss about this page with your students. Go to the next page. New, words. new word page. New word, just this is like a flashcard. Instead of flashcard, you can just touch and say they can listen. That's enough. You don't have to spend time too much. So you can print out, you know, flashcard, you got the file of it already, but no problem. Just you can touch and say table, table, cupboard, cupboard, chair, chair, bin, bin. But you don't have to teach all the time. With this white, interactive whiteboard, just you can ask your student to come out, they can touch and say. So student involved and then they uh, they should be active. That's their class. They can be a teacher like you guys. So you can be the part of the classroom 
and then just you can be like students and you can play together with your students so you can ask any student okay you who wants to come out and touch and say together then once you come out you don't have to show the same page can you remember the table was the first one let me touch the redo button can you see the position will be changed it so just to, if you consider this page is all the time same no just to touch the redo button then position will be changed so all of your class students can have a chance to touch and then they can be a teacher all other classmates can repeat after the students so this is the you know as a flashcard they can practice it let's practice words let's practice word and then say it together and tap the pictures to hear the words tap next for more pictures so cupboard cupboard bin bin chair chair same thing just if you touch the redo button here circular one then just the position will be changed so they can practice Let's it practice words. so you don't have to touch okay anybody to come out and to you know help us to touch it then you can just you know say and practice the words together with your students say it by yourself that means there isn't any sound just a touch and they have to say what cupboard bean table or just they have to say first a chair chair cupboard cupboard here cupboard like this so if they touch it it will be disappear <laughs> and then you know the redo button then you can play again and again right so use this redo button here okay and next let's one vocabulary words. now let's use word they said use word and even though we touch this nothing happens oh i see i can see it touch it a bin a bin finished use one redo button then it will be changed to a cupboard a cupboard do you remember what's different first part vocabulary just a cupboard now a cupboard right and then if you touch it is a redo button the you know vocabulary will be changed let's learn sentences now word and a cupboard they just added articles and then now sentences. What's your name? My name is Meg. What's your name? My name is Meg. And then can you see this button after, you know, first the conversation? What's your name? My name is Tom. Button. What's your name? My name is Kim. What's your name? My name is Sam. Great. And then just so we can Let's go to the next page. Sentences. They had a chance to listen to the sentence. They listen and repeat it already. And now they can practice it with a song and chant. What's your name? 
do you can make your students sing together right now you don't have to stop here hello hello what's your name what's your name what's your name hello hello what's your name my name is Chema. my name is Chema, right or and then all the students can sing together like the next student hello hello what's your name you can just keep going keep singing with your students they can answer their names even sometimes answering their own names every time the same then it's kind of boring then you can change the student's name some something to vegetables or fruits or animals or famous celebrities whatever so they can enjoy their you know telling names and singing and then after practice a sentence practice and with a tenor song and then now they practice a game What's your name? Can you see? Can you see the differences? First page, first conversation, they showed everything here. But second, after singing a song, nothing shown. Just they have to answer this part. My name is Meg. My name is May. Like this. Second part is the same thing. Same conversation will be repeated. What's your name? Then student need to answer it so my, my name, name is tom. tom good can you see the differences even the if the pages are the same but the practice is different and then what's i will skip some sentences? parts and then now what's different practice name? over time what's your name then you touch it my name is meg my name is kim or what's your name my name is sam so, help the student to practice it so you don't have to touch i tell you just ask your student one of your students come out touch and let them speak out more they have to practice even touching you know the screen board not by teacher